Hi there scrapbookers, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. Now this is going to be a video tutorial on creating backgrounds with Adobe Photoshop's Elements 6 or 7. It's aimed primarily at the new user or someone who's a little bit intimidated by Photoshop Elements but wants to use it for their scrapbooking projects. Now I know you can go online and you can find a lot of preset uh, scrapbook layouts. Um, if you don't want to do that, you just use your elements, especially if you got it with your uh, bamboo tablet. Um, it's just part of the uh, what's in the box, so you know you can just go ahead right away and start making scrapbooks. It's really cool. It's really neat. Okay, so the way you get started making a background, first you have a file to make a background on. So you go up here to the file menu, click on New, or you can use that control that uh, shortcut key, Control N and that brings up this screen. This is the new file screen. You have uh, presets and if you drop this down you'll see there's a whole bunch of different presets there. There's a defo default Photoshop element size US paper, international paper, photo, scrapbooking, web, mobile and devices, film and video, and custom. Now for this we'll just use the scrapbooking one. Okay, So we'll choose that one there. Now we can choose a size. It can be 12 by 12 which is a monster page. 8x8 eight eight or 6x6. Six six. I think we'll go with this just to keep the computer going quickly. Uh, if you're going to print this off, uh, either on your own printer or on a commercial printer, you're going to send it out for printing, keep that at resolution at 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB, that means red, green, blue, and background contents will be white, so there's going to be a white page, so we'll click OK. And there it is, we have our page. Isn't that nice? Okay, now there's one more thing that has to be done, and that is to add the background. That's done by clicking on the Create button here, okay? That's nice, this little purple button. Click on it, and it brings up this screen. And you notice all the tools and everything over here, they've all gone away. So you drop this menu down, and you can see that there are different things, different content you can add. There's backgrounds, there's frames, graphics, shapes, text, themes. We're going to just choose the backgrounds one. Okay, and now we have a lot of backgrounds we can choose from. So what you do is you kind of cycle through here and you try one. If you don't like it, you get rid of it and try another one. We'll just try one of them here. Um, it's always the hardest part is to do this thing. We'll do this one. It's called Airplane. If you hover your mouse over uh, one of the little swatches here, it'll eventually come up with the name of the uh, the background. So we're going to do Airplane because it looks kind of cool. Now you can double click on it to get it to load onto your paper over here or you can just single click and hit the Apply button. That's Airplane. I don't know why it's Airplane. I guess it's because of these rivets. But it's kind of cool. Okay, so now we've got a background. Now we're going to go back to the Edit menu and uh, we're going to take a look at the Layers Palette here. Layers palette you're going to use a lot because you're going to make a lot of layers as you add uh, elements to your uh, background. So we've just got a background layer and it's got the same as you've got in here. So really that's all there is to making a background with the presets that are built right into Photoshop Elements 6 and Photoshop Elements 7. So take a try at it. You'll, you'll find that it really is quite simple and that gets you started nicely making your scrapbook. So I hope you've uh, found this interesting. If you came in through YouTube and you want to know a bit more or, or read the information, visit my site. It's on here. You can see it down here. Uh, just pay us a visit.